Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Numbers chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, and the Word of God reads this way. So all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation said to them, If only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in this wilderness, why has the Lord brought us to this land to fall by the sword that our wives and children should become victims? Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? These verses are devastating to read. And because of what happened in the chapter before, chapter 13 of Numbers, these verses are all the more devastating. When you read it as a Christian, sometimes you can scratch your head and go, what were they thinking? Because in chapter 13 of Numbers, they were about to enter into the land of Canaan, the land that God had given the nation of Israel. So Moses and Aaron sent spies out to spy the land of Canaan to see how it was. When the spies came back, they were afraid. They thought that the people that inhabited Canaan were just too mighty and too powerful for them to defeat. Even though the Lord had told them already that he was going to be with them and that they would succeed and win the battle. Caleb actually said, no, the Lord is going to be with us. But the congregation was still afraid. And that's when we get to this verse in chapter 14. Ver verse 1 says, so all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried and the people wept that night. The congregation, the people actually cried. They were lamenting about the fact that they were supposed to go into Canaan. They were so afraid of the inhabitants there that they thought, there's no way that we're going to go in here. We're, this can't happen. We're going to lose. And then verse 2 says, And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron. So you notice, not only were they afraid, but they were also complaining. They were murmuring against their leader. Moses and Aaron. They were like, why are you sending us here? They were getting upset. And it says, and the whole congregation said to them, if only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in this wilderness. I want you to catch what they're saying. They're basically saying, we would rather have died back in Egypt. 400 years of bondage, our, you know, generations took all that It'd be better for us to die in Egypt. It'd be better for us to die in the wilderness than to go to Canaan and have to deal with the people that inhabit there because they're, they're powerful, they're more mighty than us. This is their thinking. And then in verse 3 it says, Why has the Lord brought us to this land to fall by the sword? Notice their presupposition. They're saying it's the Lord that brought us here to what? To be defeated, to be killed. And it says that our wives and children should become victims. They're actually blaming God for something that hasn't even happened. Even though God told them, hey, I'm going to be with you. The victory is yours. And then the last part of the verse says, would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? Now they're thinking we need to go back to Egypt. It doesn't make a difference that God um, had all this stuff that happened in Egypt to deliver us. There's this mass exodus. He sends all these plagues. He, he basically, you know, gets Pharaoh to set us free. But now, because we want to go into Canaan, we want to go back to Egypt. Dear Christian, this is what happens when you're faithless. When you start lacking faith, you become fearful. And then when you become fearful, you act foolish. This is what these people are doing here. And you know what? We can act the same way. We can be faithless in some areas, not believing what God has told us. And then we become fearful. Instead of trusting God's word and the truth of it, we want to lean on our own understanding, which Proverbs 3, 5 speaks against. And then we're, we start doing foolish things and doing foolish actions against the word of God. This is exactly what the nation of Israel was doing. God had guaranteed them the victory, and yet, they were afraid and thought they were going to die and would rather have died in Egypt or the wilderness and actually blamed God for it and says we need to go back to Egypt. We need to understand when we read this that we need to trust the Lord 
in all aspects of our lives. It isn't easy, and sometimes the things he tells us to do looks like it's impossible, but nothing is impossible with God, and we have to remember that and just obey him, follow him, love him, but also fear him because they didn't even fear him to say the things that they were saying. So this is Numbers chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. I just wanted to do a quick look to remind you, Christian, that when you're faithless, it's going to lead to all kinds of foolish actions because of your fear. And you don't want to be there. As always, if the videos in this channel, on this channel, excuse me, have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, remember these three verses in Numbers chapter 14. In fact, verse 4, it gets even worse. It says, so they said to one another, let us select a leader and return to Egypt. They even wanted to get another leader to overthrow Moses and then go back into the bondage that they escaped because they were so afraid. We want to be careful about being faithless because we don't want to be fearful. The Lord is with us. And if we remember that, we will not act foolish. Let this be an example of how we shouldn't act today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.